Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with an introduction for my hashtag Red Pan Collab round 3. So I know I'm uploading this a few days late but I've been away, I've been traveling so I've been uh, kind of bad with planning out my videos. So I completely forgot to film the introduction to this video and that is why it's not up on time. But hopefully you can excuse me because I definitely want to take part in this challenge again. So let's just jump straight into it. So if you're new to this challenge, which I don't think you are anymore, uh, the creators of this was Alexandra Kwasian as well as Rebecca Morgan. Uh, I will leave both of their channels down below as well as the playlist for this round. There are several playlists for other rounds as well, so uh, I won't leave them down below here, but if you search just hashtag RealistPanCollab, they will definitely show up. So how this project works is that you have a list of 50 items um, and it's just basically random categories so for example we have a product with cute packaging, drugstore product, a product you regret buying and so on. So uh, what you do is you just randomize a number and then you pick something from the category you choose. And how I decided to do this is that I, uh, if I had a category before I'm not going to choose it again. So I'm currently going through all the, the categories and I think I'm about halfway through. So if I get a category that I already had I will let you guys know and I will roll a different category in. So I don't know if everyone does it the same way but I always go with six products because I think that's what Rebecca and Alexandra are doing as well. So I'm gonna go with six products and I'm just gonna start by randomizing. So I use the app Pretty Random to randomize. I think a lot of people start using this as well which is awesome. I love this app. So I just put in one through 50 and I'm just gonna randomize a product. The first category we get is number 39, which is a colorful eyeliner, which I haven't had. So I'm excited to play around with that one. The second category will be number 50, which is a sample or deluxe size item. Number three is 37, which I haven't had either. And that is a product from Wet n Wild. Next up, we have 29, which I haven't had either. This is going very well. And that is a product in a palette. Next category is number 19, and for number 19, I already had this one, and that is a product you already hit pan on, so I'm going to go again. And next up we have number 8, which I haven't had, and that is a product of your choice. So we have one more category to go, and that will be number 40, which uh, I have had, and that is an eyeshadow from a palette you don't reach for often. So I'm going to go again and do number one, which I haven't had, and that is a product with cute packaging. So the categories that I got was a product with cute packaging, a product with, of your choice, a product in a palette, a product from Wet n Wild, a colorful eyeliner, and a sample or deluxe size item. So I'll go and pick up those six products and I will be right back. So I'm back and I've chosen my six products. I'm just going to go through them all with you in order of where I have them in the list. So for the first product that I had uh, was number one, a uh, product with cute packaging. And for this, uh, it was quite hard for me because I don't really have anything with cute packaging per se right now. Um, as you probably know, if you watched my videos before or at least for the last couple of months or if you subscribe to my channel you will know that I moved to London back in January and I haven't been able to bring all my makeup. Uh, I'm actually going back and I'm actually leaving tomorrow to go back home which is gonna be amazing and I will pick up some more makeup then which is gonna be great um, but currently I only have about half my collection with me so um, it was quite hard to pick some of these products but the first one I picked was Frog Product with cute packaging my Lunaris eyeshadow in the shade Coconut Grove. So the reason why this is a proper cute packaging is because I adore this little cute thing. I think these are so like cute. Um, it just looks like this. It's a really really dark kind of brownish color and my goal for this will be to hit pan. I obviously won't be able to use this all up but I think this would be a good kind of complement color to use because as you may know I am trying to pan um, eyeshadows in my Pandos eyeshadows project and I don't want to bring in too many eyeshadows which is kind of funny because I actually brought in two eyeshadows in this project, but we'll see how that goes. Um, but I think this will be just good to complement um, the eyeshadows that I have in there because this is just a dark shade. I can use this as an eyeliner, I can use this to deepen up looks. So hopefully I will be able to hit pan on this. Uh, at least that will be my goal. So that is the first product, a uh, product with cute packaging. So for the next category, I have a product of your choice. And for this, I actually finally chose another eyeshadow, which you may think is a bit silly since I am trying to pan eyeshadows and maybe I will regret this uh, down the line. But I chose one of my Colourpop Super Shop shadows in the shade Lightning Bug. 
The reason I chose this is because I love this shade and I think this will be so perfect for summer. Um, it looks like this. It's like a super effective gold um, color. It's quite a warm gold but I am in love with this. And can you see that reflection? It's so stunning. So the reason why I chose this is because I have quite a few warm eyeshadows in my Pandas eyeshadows project. Um, and I think this would be great for the summertime as well as spring. So I just want to pull this in. And again, my goal for this will be to hit pan. I think I should be able to do that because it takes about two months for me to hit pan in one of these. And I do love this shade. So hopefully I will be able to use this quite a bit. Um, and obviously I will be able to hit pan sooner. But when I say hit pan uh, on my Super Shock Shadows, if you've followed my project uh, before, is I want to wear it down evenly. I don't want to dig a hole because I could definitely do that within like a week or two. Uh, because it's quite soft and it moves when you touch it. So... Um, I do want to wear this down evenly, which is why it usually takes a little bit longer for me to hit pan. But I definitely feel like I will be able to do that before the end of this project. So for the next category, I have a product in a palette. And for that, I actually chose a product that I've had in this uh, project previously in, I think actually in the last round. And that is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Um, I had this in before, like I said, and my goal then was to hit pan on the shades. And as you can see, I hit pan right here as well as there. But this time, since the category is a product in a palette, I'm only going to focus on one of these shades. And the shade that I'm choosing to focus on is this one right here, which I believe is called Radiant Light. So as you can see there, possibly, you can see it already kind of hit pan right here. So it is quite low already. And my goal is obviously be to use that up. Um, and why I'm adding this in is because I am thinking to use that as a bronzer because I'm currently panning a bronzer in my yearly product pan however if you saw my last update spoiler alert I'm very low on that so hopefully that will be done soon and I'm thinking about moving over to this uh, as my bronzer once I'm done with that so that will be my next product and um, for a product in a palette so next up we have the category a product from Wet n Wild and for this one I actually have a product that for the first time ever I'm gonna double dip with. So if you don't know what I mean with double dipping, uh, it's actually a product that I have in a different project. And again this is one that I have in my yearly project pan and why I'm double dipping or why I'm choosing the same product is because I actually don't have that many Wet n Wild products here with me right now. I do have the Comfort Zone palettes as well as the um, color in the street palettes that I've depotted and put in my C palettes so I could choose one of those colors but like I said I'm doing my Pandos eyeshadows project and I don't want to add in any more eyeshadows and I feel like if I could I would rather just go with a different type of product and that is why I'm adding in my Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation so uh, like I said I am already working on this in my yearly product pan and, and luckily enough you can actually see that this has settled because in my last introduction for my other product my yearly product pan it hadn't settled in that video but here you can see it has so that right there is my starting point for this foundation i don't have too much left of this so hopefully i will be able to finish this up in the couple of months that we have this project going so yeah that is something that i will continue working on and if you don't like double dipping i'm really really sorry but i don't really have anything else i can put in this project for this category so next up we have the category a colorful eyeliner and if this would have been uh, about two weeks ago, this would have been a really hard category for me to fill because I didn't really have any colorful eyeliners left in my collection. But I did make a Colourpop order um, about, yeah, I think I got it about two weeks ago and I am going to post my um, haul for that very soon, so stay tuned for that. But in there, I actually picked up quite a few colourful eyeliners and one of them is this one right here, which is one of their cream gel liners in the shade Punch. So this is the color that I'm choosing to go with. It is a yellow kind of eyeliner. And this is completely new. I think I used this once. Um, so it's gonna be quite hard to use. And my goal for this won't be to use it up. My goal is to use about a third of this because it is brand new and I don't want to use it up straight away. So that will be my goal for this one. And I'm gonna show you where my starting point is for the product. So you can see right there, that is the ColourPop eyeliner. So I'm gonna start right here and that will be my goal. So I think that is about a third of the product. I'm just kind of guesstimated and um, that's where I set my goal. So hopefully I will be able to go to that point in a couple of months. I won't use this eyeliner every single day, so that is why 
um, I didn't want to use it all up and obviously it's new so yeah uh, that is my goal for that product and then for the last category in this introduction we have a sample or deluxe size item and this again was quite hard to pick because I don't have too many sample or deluxe size items here uh, but what I chose to go with is another eyeliner actually and this one is from Marc Jacobs and it's the highliner um, eyeliner crayon in the shade Blacker. Black here? Black or not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, but you got this as a birthday present, um, I think it's three years ago now, which is really bad. Um, but my birthday is November, so it's not that long for me, I reckon. Does that make it better? Probably not. Um, but it's just a black eyeliner, so I would decide to put this in because I do want to use it up. And I'm really bad with using black eyeliner, so I want to get better at it. Um, so that is why I'm putting this in. And then again on my handle paper, that is my starting point, and for this one I want to finish it all up. So thank you guys was my introduction for this project. I'm really excited to be a part of it again. And like I said in the beginning of this video, please don't forget to check out everyone else who's doing this project. Uh, I have loved doing this for the last two rounds and I'm really excited to join for a third time. So yeah, uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye guys!